Amen. I want you to turn with me tonight uh, to the book of from the book of uh, Romans. The book of Romans. Uh, so very familiar passage of the scripture. Romans chapter number twelve. Thank you, Lord. It's 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 good to be saved. Oh yes, it is. And it's good to be saved. And it's good to to know that you're in the presence of the Lord. When I was younger, uh, walking with the Lord, uh, I sometimes wondered if the Lord was nigh, if the Lord heard me, if the Lord, uh, I wouldn't say I wondered if he cared, I never thought about that, but, but, but uh, having a close relationship with him, that, 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 uh, that relationship wasn't as close as I feel it now. You know, it's like now if I, in my walk with him, I feel like he's right inside. All right. Amen. All right. Leading God. Yeah. And that's a good feeling. Yes, it is. Amen. That's a good feeling. And, and, and you know, I believe that the scripture says, then shall you know if you follow on to know the Lord. And uh, I don't believe that. <laughs> if you allow me to say it this way, I don't believe that uh, he was closer to me then than he is now, but I believe he was just as close. Amen. But, but I just didn't realize it. Right. Amen. Uh, the Lord is close to us. Yes, he uh, is. Uh, the Bible says he's 90. Yes. Amen. Even in my mouth. Amen. And the more you walk with him, as the scripture says, tribulation works with patience. And here we go. Patience, experience. Uh -huh. Amen. That's what we want with the Lord. Experience. Yes. All the testing, the trials, all the praying, the fasting, even the services that we encounter with Him. You know, that gives us an experience with the Lord. And, and, and that experience uh, gives us a hope that may not shame. Amen. Amen. So as we Get ready to go into our Bible study on tonight, uh, Romans chapter number one. And we're going to ask uh, Bella if Bella would cross me and she would read for us. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I think the reason why I read Thai tongue is I'm trying to distinguish between the two. <laughs> I'm calling you Elder E. <laughs> Notice what he says, holy, 
and it's acceptable unto God, and it's, and it's your reasonable service. It's, it's what you should do. Right. Amen. Based on everything that God has done. Ah, uh, it's what you should be doing based on everything that God has done for you. All right, read. And be not conformed to this world, uh -huh. but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Now, he said, and be not conformed. Don't be like the world, uh, because any man be in Christ, he's what? New creature. All old things have passed away. Behold, what? All things are new. And that new creature really means that you are a new creation. God has made you old. Amen. God said in, in, in the book of Isaiah that he was going to do a new thing. And where is he going to do the new thing? In you. Uh, and he was going to put his spirit in you uh, so that you can be new. He said he's going to give you, uh, take away the stony heart. Give you a heart of flesh uh, and make you new. Amen. Uh, we are new. That is just so. He says, uh, be not conformed to this world. Don't be like the world. Uh, why? Because we are of a different kingdom now. Uh, we are of a different uh, mandate now. We don't operate like the world. Amen. Uh, we don't do things like the world. We don't, we shouldn't even talk like the world. Uh, uh, our brother. Aren't we citizens here and citizens in heaven? In, of heaven? Uh, uh, naturally, we're citizens here. Uh, spiritually, yes, we're <laughs> citizens in heaven. Uh, that's where our citizenship, citizenship <laughs> is. <laughs> Y'all got me, guys. <laughs> that's where our citizenship is. Amen. Uh, all right, I'm doing my thing. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. But, 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 uh, notice what the scripture said. Notice what it said. Uh, because we are, our citizenship is in heaven, he says, set your affection now on things above, where Christ is at the right hand of God, Amen. the Father. Amen? Amen. Because we are, 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 are citizens of heaven, he tells us that, that, uh, that, that we should, where our treasure is, that's where our heart is also. Amen. So, so, and he says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these other things shall be what? Added. Added unto you. Hallelujah. That's because of our citizenship. Amen? Amen. Amen. All right. Now he says, uh, because you are, are different, be not conformed to this world. But be what? Transform. Transform. Now, you remember earlier I told you that you are a new creature, that you are a, a new creature in Christ Jesus, that, that you are a new creation. Uh, now, he's literally trying to say that in this verse 12 and 2. Notice what he says. And be not conformed to this world. Now, now, notice the tense and the language that he's using. If, if you were new, then you wouldn't have to, uh, uh, he wouldn't have to say, be not plentiful. Uh, why? Because we, we, before we came to Christ, we were already conformed uh, to this world. So he's looking at you as being a new creature and saying, don't be conformed. Uh, uh, because you're new. Because you're a new creature. Your, your affections are different. Your love is different. God has given you a new nature. A divine nature. You're holy now. Holy God. Amen. You're different. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and Paul is expressing that in that just that one sentence. You're different. Yeah. Uh, so he says, be not the more. Uh, uh, he's looking at you as a different creation. Uh, be not conformed to this world, but be ye what? Transform. Transform. Renew your mind. Renew. Uh, uh, the scripture says, He that began a good work in you shall perform it until the day of 
be transformed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll be transformed by what? The flesh has to be transformed. Your mind. Uh, your mind. Your mind has to be transformed. Uh, your body is still going to be the same. When you look in the mirror, you're going to see the same person. Uh, but when, they look, when, they, when, when God looks into your mind, uh, it should be a new mind. new mind. And what kind of mind should we have? The mind of Christ. Uh -huh. And then he said, let this mind uh, be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. And that word let means you got to allow it. Come on now. Uh, 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 because the scripture says a double-minded person is what? Unstable in all his ways. So, so therefore, we have the potential to have a double mind. Amen. Uh, but God doesn't want you to have a double mind. You can, you can, you can, you can do what you want to do, and you can do what God wants you to do. And God wants you to, to do what He wants you to do. So you gotta allow His mind, the mind of Christ, to take over your mind. Uh, you gotta allow. Yeah. You, know, you gotta desire. Uh, and God will do. Amen.
church and, and get baptized and filled with the Holy Ghost, your conversation changes. It changes. And you can have friends that you used to be around, and as you speak, they'll they'll start talking about the Lord. Yeah. Because they see where your conversation is coming from. Yeah. And, and they know you've been changed. Changed. Something has happened in your life because you normally don't talk about those type of things. You talk yeah. about what you did last night or what happened. But when you start talking about the goodness of Jesus, yeah. you start talking about what he has brought you from, yeah. uh -huh. then they start talking. Yeah. God is good. God is good. Because <laughs> your mind has been renewed. Renewed. Hallelujah. Change. When, now, now you remember me uh, when the Lord uh, uh, called me uh, uh, Saul, which he changed his name to Paul. And, and, and the scripture says that Christ told him that if I, I appeared to thee for this purpose, uh, to make thee a minister. For what purpose? That he may turn people from darkness to light, from the power of Satan unto God. Uh, that they can receive uh, repentance and remission of sins, and then he said that they may receive an inheritance among them that are sanctified. Yeah. Amen? And, 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 and in order for Paul to do that, there had to be a change within him uh, and in his conversation to be able to influence uh, uh, those that needed uh, in his presence to be not only almost persuaded, yeah. huh, but to be persuaded, yeah. huh, to be a Christian. Yeah. <laughs> hey! Um, God, God has set us out as lights yeah. uh, so we can be changing. Yeah. Amen? That, that people can behold your conversation, yeah. behold your Uh, 
When, when the, the, uh, the disciples, they had um, came to Jesus and said, we uh, getting the, um, the demons out of the people, and he said, don't be happy for that. Be happy your name is in the book of life. <laughs> That's what he said. That's what he said. He said, don't, don't, don't rejoice because the people were delivered from the demons. Yes. But rejoice because your name is written. Yes. Uh, hallelujah. Thank you. Because, you know, uh, Jesus was alluding to the fact that uh, no matter how many times God heals you, one day you're going to die. Yes. You know, because that's just the mandate. Amen. And we 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 know this earth to live for to ever as we are in our condition. Amen. Because he said he's gonna give us a new body. Uh, this world's gonna put on immortality. Yes. This corruptible is gonna uh, inherit incorruption. Amen. So 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 the, the, the key is salvation. Yes. Uh, that's what we should rejoice in. Yes. Uh, that living forever. With Jesus. Amen? Hallelujah, my God. God. Alright, so we see here then verse uh, number 12, I mean, verse, uh, chapter number 12, Romans, chapter number 12, verse 3. And verse, I'm going to hit verse 2 again so we can recapture the thought. And be not conformed to this world, yes. but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. All right, so Paul is saying that don't be conformed to this world. Amen? But be what? Transformed. There's a transformation that should take place in the life of a Christian, a saint, a child of God. Amen? If an individual, if we're not transformed, if we're not changing uh, in, our, in our ways and our conversation, and uh, our daily habits and behavior, then something's wrong. Yes. Amen? There should be renewance of life. Yes. Amen? Oh, uh, yeah. A renewance of changed behavior. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to reach my laugh because, you know, you, you hear some, some people say that they, 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 they walk in with God and then they, they cuss them more than when they start. Uh, uh, and they do it, they do it more dirt and evil deeds than when they started out. Uh, that's, that's not the case. Uh, there should be a change. Yeah. I got into a, uh, I don't want to say, uh, an argument. Uh, it wasn't an argument back and forth all like that, but it was a difference of opinion. I put it that way. Uh, uh, a debate. There you go. With the individual who said, he said, he was really defending the doctrine, once saved, always saved. And he's saying that no matter what I do, you know, as long as I, I, I believe in Christ, I can be saved, you know. So we had to go through the scriptures uh, and show him where that's not the case. You know, that, that once you get into Christ, there is a level that uh, of holiness that God is calling you to do. Amen. Amen. What's, what's the sense of Christ dying if, if you're not going to make a change? Uh, uh, there's got to be a change in one's life. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And, 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 and that happens with a renewed mind. Amen. Your body is going to be the same. Uh, but your mind has to be transformed. Your mind has to be renewed. Amen? Uh, yeah. and, and that happens when you systematically study the Word of God. And I mean it when I say it, systematic. You can't have actually study God's Word, God open the Bible and eat me in my remote uh, and, and pick a scripture uh, and think that that's going to transform your mind. You have to have a systematic approach uh, designed by the Holy Ghost uh, to lead you into the scriptures so that you can receive God's word on uh, this and, and, and your mind be renewed. Your mind be transferred, transformed. Now, uh, 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 the Holy Ghost, it leads you into the scriptures. Uh, if you allow, uh, the Holy Ghost will give you thoughts, will bring scriptures to your mind. And what, what he's trying to tell you then is you need to study that. Oh it doesn't come out and say study this. <laughs> it, it brings the thought to your mind. Uh, and then you've got to latch on to the thought. Uh, and say, let, let, let me go on the scriptures and 
stop thoughts from coming. No. Thoughts are going to come. They're going to come. They're going to come. But it's up to you to resist them. Resist Huh? Yeah. You, you can't stop a bird from flying over your head. No. But you can stop them from landing on your head. Yeah. You can't stop thoughts from coming. No. Uh -huh. You can stop uh, thinking and dwelling on those yeah. thoughts. And so that's what we have to come to. We can't dwell on those evil thoughts. Yeah. We have to resist them. Stand back. Stand back. Amen. Amen. Now, I'm going to ask you what, what he said. You can't stop it from coming, and he said you got you you, you got to resist them, and you got the power to resist the conception of them. Mm -hmm. uh, so you don't conceive them. Uh, so once you conceive them, it's going to bring forth the act, uh, which is sin. And once it's finished, it's going to bring forth death. Amen. Now notice, notice, I want to take you on the converse. Uh, 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 the opposite of what I just said. If you can see the, the word of God, the thoughts of God in your life, you're going to bring them forth. Amen? Yes. And, and instead of bringing forth death, you're going to bring forth life. Yes. <laughs> uh, so you got to see God's word uh, and bring forth life. Am I right? Measure of faith. All right, so first of all, 
They got different, they got different abilities, man, different purposes. Am I right? And we all have different abilities and different purposes. Am I right? Now, now, uh, if you are a, a visionary in God's church, you follow me? You got to have a great uh, level of faith to believe in God, more so than people that are not visionaries in the church. Uh, uh, can we agree on that? Yeah. All right. If if God has given you a ministry of of of, of faith, of, of laying on the hands, healing, and deliverance. Right? You, that person is going to have a different level of, of faith than, 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 than the accountant that, that handles the books, than, than the janitor that sweeps the floor. You follow me? Why? Because of the level of gifting that God has given the individual. Are they all important to God? Yes. Are they? Only got one yes. Yes. <laughs> Uh-uh. 
T.D. Jakes, Noel Jones, and all these other people. And, and the Lord had a little heart. He said, I ain't calling you T.D. Jakes. Mm -hmm. I, I ain't calling you Noel Jones. Mm -hmm. I, you friend me. Right. I, I called you. Right. I called you. And don't be looking at me trying to compare yourself to me.
The scripture says jealousy is as cruel as the what? Grave. And what it means by that is the grave never ceases. Uh, it's deep. Uh, it just keep on, people just keep on dying. Amen? I'm, I'm, I'm waiting. Sometimes I drive by the cemetery and I'm wondering, how many times uh, do they still got a room? Huh? Still got a room. <laughs> Driving by the cemetery gives you a sober mind. Too. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You're going to get real quiet. <laughs> absolutely. 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 To the fullest. Yes. When God shows you your gift, you know what to do and when to do it and how to do it because He's going to give you that special anointing. When man tells you what your gift is, you don't completely believe it. You're not completely convinced. Yes. Because you, it, it's a mind thing. Once God gives it to you, you know. You know. And you know how to operate, you know how to work in it. Yeah. You know, the pastor can tell you uh, 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 what your gift is, but God has to really let you know what your gift is so you can be affected. Yes. And that knowing is in revealing. Yes. Amen. And it's other a people gift. would know. Other uh, people are, because of because you uh, have that anointing and you know what to do, how to work, how to use your gift, how to work it, other people know too. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. It's a change. Yes. And when you know how to in your gift, they can see the change in All right. Amen. All right. <laughs> oh, Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Seek and ye shall. Knock and ye shall. The door shall be closed. Ask and ye shall what? Seek. Amen. Amen. God, God wants to reveal it. Amen. Amen. My God. That's power. All right, we go back. Six. All right. Having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, mm -hmm. whether prophecy, let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith. 
Now, if, if God has that word prophecy there, it means the preaching of the word. I was talking to preachers. Amen. If, if God has given me the ability to preach, preach according to the ability God has given me. Amen. I can't preach like nobody else. I got to preach according to how God has given me the ability to preach. Amen? That's what they do. You got to do what God has given you according to the ability that God has given you. Amen? Are we? Seven. Uh -huh. For ministry, uh -huh. let us wait on our ministry. Yeah. For he that teacheth on teaching. Now, him that would serve. You know, and him that would teach, him that would minister, him that would teach, he said, let him wait on him. In other words, <laughs> you know, uh, be taught. <laughs> right? Yeah. Be taught something. Uh, you don't have to go out and be an honest. Don't go out.
And I'm happy to do it. 
no, 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 no bitterness. I don't feel no revenge spirit coming up. Because my whoo, vengeance will always to come. Uh, and, I, and I don't want to get it. Woo! You know, sometimes we, 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 we show mercy and we pray for our enemies. Won't God forgive them? Uh, I know I have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's still some folk I know God again. I mean, that, can I just be honest? Yeah. I want God to give me a checkup. Let me see what he's done to